do you want to go for a run? You can tell he's just thinking like, ugh, this guy again with his ambitious goals. When's this one going to end? Okay, let's go. I'll put this on. Come in. Bit of a late Thursday morning run. God, I procrastinated starting this so much. I got up at six, I'm like, hey, this would be a really great start to the day. Got a couple of things done, go for a run. And I just started coming up with all the ways that I could push it back. It's like, oh, I'd love to know how long this run actually is. I think there's a Garmin watch I haven't used in forever. Started charging it. And I was like, ah, maybe it's a little cold out. Maybe we'll wait for it to warm up a bit. Had another coffee, of course, that made me have to poop. It just, it eats up three hours really fast. Thankfully, I just sort of snapped out of it. I was like, I'll just get out there. I haven't had a watch in two years. Why does it matter? Constant battle. It's not easy out here for just some normal non-athlete. Hey. <laughs> Fogging up. Fogging up. Glad I came to my senses and didn't wait for this. This is still not charged. I would not have gone out yet. Oh, cool. That route is a little longer than I thought it was. 5.72 kilometers. Uh, don't be too concerned about me over training too hard here. That was a 647 per kilometer pace. I don't know what that is in miles, but it's slow. Again, the goal isn't to be breaking any records. I just want to be doing something. Calendar's starting to look pretty good. I'm now on day three of surviving, thriving, off of my Googled recipe homemade instant use pizza dough pizza. I did the math. This entire pizza was about $3, maybe $4 to make. So I've been eating pizza for a dollar-ish a day. I don't know that I'll ever order a pizza again. I'm gonna put a recipe below. I just want to manage expectations. It's not the best pizza ever. It's just quick. Oh, it flipped. Not nearly as cold Credit. Definitely spoke too soon. So as a faithful watcher of the entire upload viewer you are of this channel, you uh, you know, my, my friends were over last night. We were riding the ramp. And I gotta be honest, I didn't feel like I was riding very well. There was stuff that I was trying to do that just wasn't working out. You have nights like that every so often. But it was just made that little bit worse because both Kevin and Devin absolutely send these quarter pipes to the moon and it looks so effortless and huh. What's the thing about comparison? Anyway, definitely found myself being like, oh man. Part of my procrastination this morning might have been being in here working on something that I'm uh, pretty self-conscious about when it comes to my BMX riding. I'm not actually comfortable sharing what that is with you just yet. But I was doing more physical things today than I let on at the start of this video. I hope, I hope you can forgive me for not telling you about it and that we can rebuild the trust from here. This is gonna be hard. It's early days still, but I'm gonna have to balance like some decent like riding of a bike to get my body used to training, but also like bikes, like riding bikes is what I do for fun as well. So like mixing the two, that's, that's tough. 
I'm gonna be like, okay, today I trained for the mountain bike marathon. What am I gonna do for fun? Ride BMX, go to the bike park and do tricks with my big mountain bike. Head over to Mount Edwards, we're dirt jumping. What are you supposed to do in this situation? Get like a different hobby that doesn't take like a physical toll on the energy or body that you have? Ugh. Swung this wrench into my hand, ow. There. I was just getting a little ridiculous that I'm so excited and so focused and making a lot of content about wanting to do mountain bike marathons with my mountain bike marathon bike not being rideable. I've made the executive decision to compromise on the setup by using a not super great NX crank that uses this really terrible bottom bracket interface but should stay on the bike versus the broken GXP bolt of my X1 cranks where the crank arm was Definitely not going to stay on. I suspect there's some very large weight penalties going on here. What is it? What does it? Oh, you can't see. 28.6 pounds. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. But it's now in what I believe to be a rideable state. Minus a working dropper. I just didn't want to do the cable today either. Tomorrow, if the weather is appropriate, I think we should ride. Now that I've finally worked through all of my pizza, I'm now moved on to uh, canned chili that I pour on top of rice. It's just kind of a seemingly fitting end to my week of bachelor uh, squalor life. Two full peppers were maybe a little much. Take that back, that's the exact right amount of peppers. 